Hey everybody, Mike here, going to do another uh, pod review. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing a uh, seven pot white sent to me from T. Mutter, Todd. Um, as you can see, it's kind of got a gaping hole there. It got smashed by the UPS guys. Um, not UPS, the USPS guys. And this pod is like hard as a rock. It's like a it's like a freaking golf ball. So the, it must have got hit really hard in packaging. I think they the uh, they were playing, you know, they were kicking field goals with the package in the in the uh, mail room there on the way on its way here. Because if you ever get anything um, sent to you from Todd, you know that he he packs his stuff impeccably. So it's no fault of his. It's just you know rough treatment. You know in transit. But um, this pod's held up really well. It looks great. It's just got the got the big old hole in it. Um, still gonna cut it open and get some seeds out of here, just in case. You know, it's, this thing is crisp. Man, it's like it's like cutting into an apple or something. It really is that firm. I went back and kind of looked at Todd's video when he ate this pod, and he was saying some of the same things, how firm and crisp this particular pod is. And um, kind of interested to see how well the heat has held up since the, uh, still, it smells hot, I'll tell you that. It's got kind of that, it's definitely got that, that super hot smell to it, for sure. Just taking some seeds out of here, for sure, because I just may want to grow this one. It's very interesting. And it smells like it might be good, like it might taste good, so we'll find out. There. Got an adequate amount of seeds out of that. And this is what we're left with. Very thick walled pepper, as you can see. And there's where most of the placenta is. It's pretty much all on one side, but the, the walls of this thing are thick and it is hard and crunchy. I mean, I can, it's just, you can, yeah. It's kind of like trying to squeeze like a ping pong ball or something, it's that firm. But that's what we got. And uh, this is the seven pot white. Um, thanks, Todd. Let's let's try it. Hmm. No bitterness at all. Zero bitterness. Hmm. It's got a nice flavor. But that's, that heat is going, that's attacking the throat right away. Normally it, when I eat a, a pot, it goes after the tongue first and then it slowly works its way back and you feel it on the throat. This went straight to the throat, man. That's, that's different. Now it's starting to hit the tongue, the very tip of the tongue, my lips, but man, instantly on the throat. Mm. Not really a sadistic type of burn, but it's, it's definitely super hot. Very crisp, clean taste, taste to it. Really, really good pot. There was no sweetness in there, but there was no bitterness whatsoever, none at all. And um, not a real heavy, like a floral chemical taste to it. Actually just had a nice, I don't want to say vegetable-y, but just a, 
hard to describe, but a real, a real clean, a very clean tasting pepper. It was very, had a lot of water and juice in it. Um, very crisp and nice to chew up. It wasn't mushy or, you know, leathery like some of these super hots can be, especially the uh, thin walled ones. It's got some heat, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's, it's crazy hot, you know. It's definitely got some heat. It's definitely all around now. It's um, all over the mouth, still on the throat. It's hot. I've been kind of slacking eating pods lately, man. I ate that, the last super hot I ate was that 7 Pot Primo. About a week ago, maybe I don't know, and uh, that thing just just threw me for a loop, and my kind of got my gut a bit the next day. And then I took and made and made salsa with a bunch of uh, the paws that I got from the Silver Surfer, and um, I made a big batch of it, a big huge batch, probably I don't know a gallon and a half maybe, and just put one seven pot primo in it. And I thought that would turn out kind of mild because generally you take one, one of these super hots and a big batch of salsa and it makes it medium to mild, you know, for the average person who's not a crazy chili head and can kind of enjoy it. And it was, it was flat out too hot for my wife to eat. Um, it was just on the edge, her edge of being able to tolerate it. So it did made it, I was pretty impressed with the heat level of that. And then I took that and I took a little bit and put it aside for her and then the, with the rest I added some more pods and I made some freaking hot salsa man and eating that over the over the last couple of days taking it to work and eating it sharing it with friends and stuff my gut has just been I've just had just heartburn and just a unset or a, an unsettled uh, digestive system for pretty much a week straight it's no real excuse. I, I probably could have still ate some pods, but uh, i just been slacking, man. I, I uh, apologize, but I watched a video of Todd tonight eating a, uh, eating a brain strain, and the guy is sick. Um, he's been sick, you know, and he, he, he muscles up and he's just, just sadistically hot brain strain and just suffers really bad, man. And, Kind of inspired me to be like, you know what? I need to, I, I need to start eating some pods. I've got pods sitting in my fridge, um, so I figured I'd, I'd eat this one. Um, very good pod, man. That it's got a nice burn. It's not crazy hot. Um, now the burn's more concentrated up, kind of on the roof of my mouth, which is different. Definitely, I can feel it burning on the roof of my mouth, still the top of my tongue, and still in the throat. But the throat is not that uh, that mean, like brain strain or seven pot brown type of just you know death grip on the throat. It's more just a you know it's letting you know it's there, but it's it's somewhat tolerable for a, a super hot. Um, very good, very good uh, pepper. That that would be wonderful for um, uh, throwing into any any type of salsa, just a straight up you know tomato garlic salsa or a uh, or even a fruit salsa would probably be excellent. Um, I really like that. I'm glad I got some seeds. I'm going to try to grow that one for sure. Every every pot I get that I sent that, that I get sent from Todd or somebody, my my want to grow list expands. You know, and I'm I've just got too many too many varieties I want to grow, and I think I've got to take more of a realistic look at you know all the varieties I've got and what do I really want to try to produce because. I've probably got between 14 and 18 different strains of super hot, you know, seeds, and um, I just, uh, I just think that's a little too much for one season for your first for a first time grower like I'm going to be. So I'm going to have to make some cuts to my list, and I want to keep it around, you know, 10 varieties. So I got you know two of each plant. That's 20. That's 20 peppers. I'm going to try to do that. So. Anyways, that was a very good pod. That's probably about the best tasting super hot that I've tried yet. It was wonderful. The flavor was great. The texture was great. 
there's nothing bad I can say about that pod. No, nothing negative at all. Just an all-around winner. Um, thanks for the pod, Todd. I really appreciated it, man. And I hope you're feeling better. And you all take care. I'll see you on the next one.